kids, my name is Joycey Horsey. Are you ready to read with me? Yes, yes, yep, yep, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's go. Before we begin our story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today, we are going to read the book, The Berenstain Bears and the Big Blooper. Are you ready? Let's begin. Sister Bear was just beginning to wonder what to do with herself one afternoon when the phone rang. It was Lizzie Bruin asking her to come over to play. Bring your dolls with you, said Lizzie. We'll play house and later on we can watch a video. Great, said Sister. I'll check with my mom and be right over. A visit to Lizzie's house was perfectly all right with Mama Bear. In fact, she had a lot of gardening to do that afternoon. Sister and Lizzie were always a pleasure to have around, but if they played over at Lizzie's that afternoon, Mama could get more work done. Sister put her dolls in their stroller and hurried over to Lizzie's. Lizzie was waiting for her at the door and helped her carry the dolls upstairs to her room. Sister and Lizzie had been playing house with their dolls the last time Sister visited, so they just picked up where they left off. Sister's doll, Amanda, had been pestering her mother, played by Lizzie's doll, Christy, to let her bake cookies in the kitchen. Now, Amanda, said Christy, it was really Lizzie's voice. You know I have a lot of work to do around the house. I don't have time to help you bake cookies. Aw, gee, Mom, whined Amanda. It was Sister's voice. I never get to bake cookies. You never let me do anything. That's ridiculous, said Lizzie. We baked cookies just yesterday. But I want to bake cookies now, shouted Sister, getting into her role. Stop that shouting, yelled Lizzie. Don't speak to me in that tone of voice. You'll be sent to your room in another minute. Before Sister could yell back and get sent to her room, Lizzie's mother came to the door. She looked a little frazzled. What's all the shouting about? she asked. I'm trying to make some phone calls and I don't need all this commotion. We're just playing, Mom, said Lizzie. Can't you do something quieter, sighed her mom. Can we watch a video, asked Lizzie. I suppose so, agreed her mother, heading back downstairs. Lizzie and sister brought their dolls into the family room and settled down in front of the TV. Hey, look, said Lizzie. Here's that video that Barry rented. Barry was Lizzie's older brother. Let's watch that. Okay, agreed sister. The video was called Trouble at Big Bear High, and it looked pretty grown up. It was all about teenagers in high school. Sister didn't understand a lot of it. The teenagers in the video got angry and upset with each other, and sister didn't always understand why. They teased each other and made fun of each other's clothes. They used a lot of words that sister didn't understand. Whenever the teenagers got angry or upset, they said words that sister had never heard before. She figured that these words were sort of like foo-wee or fudge, but more grown up. She whispered one or two to herself. They sounded pretty good. When the video was over, sister and Lizzie played with their dolls some more, then went outside to ride bikes. Finally, it was time for Sister to go home for supper. She gathered her dolls together and headed home, thinking about the video she had seen. She wasn't sure whether she liked it or not. At the table, Sister began to tell Papa, Mama, and Brother about the video. She told them about Big Bear High and about how teenagers there got angry and upset and teased each other and made fun of each other's clothes. That's very interesting, said Mama, 
not paying too much attention. She was busy with baby honey and Papa was already busy eating. But Brother looked up. I saw that video with Barry, he said. Did you like it? Isn't it a little old for you? No, said Sister, offended. I liked it a lot. I thought it was great. She waved her hand to show how great it was and knocked over her glass of milk. It spilled all over the table. Sister was about to say, Oh, fooey, or oh, fudge, but one of the words from the video popped into her head, and she said it real loud. There was a pause. Mama, Papa, and Brother stared at her with their mouths open. Uh-oh, thought Sister. What did you say? gasped Mama. Um, mumbled Sister. I, I forget. Papa was speechless. He just sat there with his fork halfway to his mouth. Brother was turning away, trying not to laugh. Where in the world did you get that from? asked Mama, folding her arms. Well, stammered Sister, and it all came out. All about Lizzie's mom having to make some phone calls, and about finding the video Barry rented, and about the grown-up words Sister hadn't heard before. I see, said Mama thoughtfully. I have to tell you, Sister that the words you heard on that video are not nice words. They are words that no cub should ever use at any time. I don't care how angry or upset they are. Do grown-ups ever use those words? asked sister. Brother snorted, trying to hold in a laugh. Mama looked at Papa. Ahem, she said. What? Uh-huh said Papa, coming out of his trance. Ah, uh, yes, well, sister, sometimes, once in a while, grown-ups do use words like those. Like when they hit their thumbs with a hammer, or when they stub their toes real bad, or when they run the hose over with a lawnmower, or when the kicker mops a field goal, or... That's quite enough, thank you, said Mama firmly. The point is that nobody, not even adults, and certainly not cubs, should use words like those at all. They're simply not nice. Now, let's clean the milk up off the table. Later, when Sister was getting tucked into bed, she thought of something. Mama, she said, if those words from the video are not nice, then... Why do cubs and grown-ups use them? Mama sat down at the edge of the bed and sighed. Because, she said, it's easy. It's an easy way to seem grown-up. It's an easy way to get attention. And, she added, after a while, it gets to be a habit, a bad habit. Sister, said Mama. Yes, Mama, said Sister. Her eyes were closing. Does all that make sense, dear? said Mama. But Sister was fast asleep. The End Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. See you next time.